The third term of this academic calendar kicked off on 9th May, spanning 14 weeks, with schools expected to close officially on 12th August next week. However, for many school heads and proprietors, the end of the second term could not have come early enough because of the numerous challenges that they have faced. In the beginning, everything was moving well and the effort was placed on further enabling the learners settle in after a two-year absence from school. Children have settled in. Uh, the levels of numerous and, and literacy have gone high and, uh, and, and, and the willingness and interest among the children to learn has greatly improved. Going on giving them guidance and counseling and at least uh, from where we got them in term one, they have kept on improving. But as fuel prices shot up, the schools also started feeling the pinch, especially when it came to looking after the learners outside of the classrooms. I think everywhere uh, we may not uh, limit it to school, only here, but everywhere it has been really hard. Most of our, some of our parents parked cars and opted for the school transport. To avoid congestion, there are some children we have not taken on. Painfully, these parents have had to make decisions of taking them to other schools. But the biggest challenge was the drop in revenue due to low fees collection. Uh, but as a school, we created a payment plan. Uh, the payment plan for parents to pay. Most of them have, but you realize that the performance this term is not as good, uh, is not better than the previous terms. With the Ministry of Education allowing for a staggered closing of schools at the end of the term, many institutions have started releasing their learners for holidays this week. Because of the challenges they have faced, the beginning of third term after the three weeks holiday fills many of the school proprietors with fear and apprehension. We believe uh, term three may not be as different as term two. Uh, we hope we shall work within our budget and manage. Uh, we, 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 we expect to work with parents. We are going to put a payment plan like we did this term. Uh, such that they can pay fees in agreed uh, ways. This fear is shared by parents as well. You can think of very many options how we would come back next term. But because there is no option, you'll, you shall have to bring the kids back to school. But economic experts have offered some advice on how this situation can be addressed. Of critical importance is the need for the proprietors to avoid raising school fees. In fact, I may urge some schools to even lower a bit to make it more affordable for the parents. If you see you are charging 100 and no one is paying, you rather reduce to 80, then more parents come. While Gembe instead advises them to look at the payment of fees in installments. But you can break down that bank slip into four of 200,000, 200,000 to make it easier for the parents. You can even create more channels and say, ah, you can pay by mobile money. You can bring the money at school. You can pay in kind because some parents, for instance, they, are, they own maize mills. So you tell the parent, if you can bring the portion to school, then we calculate, you offset. He also advises them to steer clear of any unnecessary expenditure. Some schools also, you charge the parents, you charge them for tours, you charge them for piano, you, charge, you tell them to bring a bag of cement, tell them to bring toilet paper, what not, all those things you remove. The parents don't have money. The third term is set to run from 5th September to 9th December, also spanning 14 weeks. But for many, this term is caked in uncertainty. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.